Oscar TV at the Kawartha Speedway. Oscar Super Late Model Midas of Orange Bowl 50 lap A main is in the books and standing alongside feature winner Andrew Gressel. Andrew, second uh, career Oscar Super Late Model feature win and second of the season. This is a dynamite rookie year for this team. I mean, first ever trip to Kawartha in a Super Late Model. I mean, you guys had this car hooked up starting on the pole, led from start to finish. I mean, talk to us about how you got this car hooked up today. Yeah, I guess the best part about it was like, you know, when you got a bad car, everybody's working really hard to try to figure out what's going on with it, and that's exactly what we did today. So we just worked out the heats. In practice, we were real good, but the track was uh, just so fresh. It hasn't been ran on in so long. So once they started laying down the rubber, uh, our car tightened right up. It was like night and day. So we just worked away at it, and uh, eventually it really came to us. And for the feature run here tonight, it was uh, probably one of the best race cars I've ever driven. We had a restart on lap 33 that kind of tightened up the field, and, and I, in that uh, in a long green flag run there, you guys started to pull away from the field. It looks as though nobody's going to challenge you, and then another caution comes out at lap 41. I have to think you must have been banging on the steering wheel thinking, man, did this yellow flag have to come out because you guys were on cruise control? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Those yellows tightened up the field for us, and everyone that came out, you know, I was just in the car. You're just like, geez, not another one, right? But, I mean, that's type of thing that could happen out here it's a real fast track there's stuff that breaks on real fast tracks and uh you know all in all i mean uh, i'm just glad that we got to come back here and run on this speedway i've never been here in a late model and and uh i definitely come back for another one for sure it was uh it was a great time I know you guys were a big proponent uh, of getting to as many tracks as possible, and that's what your team has been encouraging to. I know you guys want to see this series get back to Delaware Speedway next year, and i got to think that after a win tonight, you guys want to see us come back to a court at least a couple of times next season. Oh, yeah, for sure. If we can make a couple more shows here happen next season, I think that would be you know, awesome for Oscar and awesome for the teams because there's not too many drivers don't, that don't like getting out onto this big speedway here, and that's what these cars are built for, to, you know, to hit some wind, and, and they really start working. So... I mean, it was phenomenal. Uh, I just wish uh, we could come back here again next weekend, I guess. But back to Peterborough in a couple weeks. So uh, we got a bit of work to do, and, and hopefully we have a better run there than, than last time. Uh, a better run than last time would be you know, a victory at Peterborough Speedway because you guys had a second-place finish last week. We didn't really get a chance to talk to you after that because that second-place finish is going to put you on the outside of the front row for the Autumn Colors Classic. And that's a great race uh, for, for you guys. It's obviously uh, the pinnacle of, of short track racing in Ontario. So to start on the front row, you kind of get to use the race in two weeks' time kind of as a, as a little bit of a tune-up for that event. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that's exactly what we plan on doing. I mean, we've been going down to Autumn Colors for like 10 years now. Ever since we ran the Thunder Car, we were going down there. So, and we've never had any luck there. So that was one of the, that was the best run we've had at Peterborough. And you know, we were happy, but uh, now we definitely want to. You know, it'd be nice to get a win for sure. Let's talk quickly about the, the championship points. I mean, unofficially, we did talk some quick math up in the tower. Uh, the win tonight uh, with uh, some bad luck for the number nine of Brandon Watson and the seven of Derek Teamers. That puts you guys up into the second spot, tied with Teamers, about 30 markers back uh, of Brandon. I mean, uh, points racing, I mean, everybody wants to get wins, but uh, you guys have been consistent all year long, and I have to think that uh, now that you're sitting in second, that a championship's starting to get onto your mind. I mean, obviously, the Rookie of the Year race uh, pretty much sewn up now that uh, Kevin Cornis is, is going to miss a couple of races, so I think that the, maybe a championship, is that starting to creep into your mind a bit? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, the nine car is pretty consistent, right? Those guys are real good. They're fast everywhere they go, so they've, uh, they've ran this circuit before, you know, a few years running this now, so it's going to be tough. But, uh, you know, anything can be done. So we just got to, you know, just keep working away at it and, you know, have, have uh, good finishes and, and, you know, make sure the car's bang on like it was tonight. It's going to make a big difference in the long run. I mean, we're doing, we're doing real well. I'm real happy the way everything's been going this year. And, and uh, if we could, uh, you know, the rookie, rookie of the Year title, that's, that'll, be, uh, that'll be real good. This uh, Sable Falls London Recreational Team was absolutely the class of the field here tonight. Uh, the, the crew that uh, put this car together, I mean, I mean, they were they like you said, uh, they worked on this car from the time you guys got here after the first practice session. So I know you love to thank them as well as all the sponsors that are on board this number 81 car. Yeah, I'd like to thank all my crew: uh, Gareth Gonder, Joe Chisholm Jr., uh, Ben, Steve, uh, my dad, my sister Brittany was here tonight. My aunt Gloria was here tonight. Uh, John Wolf was here tonight. My dad's buddy and. Uh, you know, when you got a good, when you got a good bunch of people around a race car, you can make things happen. So it makes a big difference, and uh, we couldn't definitely, definitely not do it without our sponsors too: Salva Falls Tent and Trailer Park, uh, Cus W, London Recreational, um, 
uh, high grade roofing, uh, have one.com, roll tech racing transmission, spire fire protection, uh, just all our sponsors, McRoberts Fuels, uh, for helping us out this year. It was, it's been awesome. A great night uh, for the family to come out. You guys pick up a win tonight. Uh, so thanks a lot for your time tonight, Andrew. We'll see you in two weeks at Peterborough. Thanks, Clayton. Can't wait, man. Andrew Gressel picks up the win in the only stop at Kawartha Speedway in the 2013 Tour for the Oscar Super Late Models. Midas of Orangeville 50 lap A main is in the books. The Oscar Super Late Models head to Peterborough Speedway on Saturday, August 24th. For Oscar TV at the Kawartha Speedway, I'm Clayton Johns.